Hello everyone. Today we will explore one more micro niche. Uh, this particular micro niche is related to kitchen and home section. So let me get started. Uh, it is about uh, sinks and faucets. So let me use the keywords sink and faucet. So let's uh, explore the details related to this particular micro niche and then we can analyze as per our regular criteria that we apply. So the keywords are sink and faucet. So these are the, the keywords. Basically, these are the products or um, utilities that you use in kitchen or in, at, in home. Predominantly, of course, in commercial places also these are used, but primarily we can focus under the kitchen and home section. But uh, depending on your interest, you can actually enhance this particular uh, niche, micro niche or side to other areas as well so let the the matching terms come forward for uh, come up for both these keywords so here is the <coughs> data what you can see for this particular two terms so as we normally do let's apply our five factor validation and see how good this particular micro niche is with respect to uh, a micro uh, to start a new micro niche blog okay so let's get started. The first validation is uh, difficulty and co or uh, the competition. That's what we look for. So there are about uh, nearly 1.5 million keywords are there associated with these two terms. So what we want to do here is here if you straight away see uh, you can find the keyword difficulty uh, with varied numbers. But what we want to see is do we have enough keywords with low competition so that how we we normally check it out is we have a label something called kd kd stands for keyword difficulty lesser is always better for newbies we normally go and filter the keywords with uh, difficulty less than or equal to 20 <coughs> even uh, to, to start with low difficulty keywords are always better but when you filter yeah, this particular these all these terms with uh, difficulty less than 20 you can see nearly 50,000 keywords are appearing so that means there are enough number of terms or keywords associated with these two specific uh, micro niche terms uh, with lower competition that means with the keyword difficulty less than 20 even let's see, let's try to apply less than 10 and see how many terms will come um, with 20 there were about 50,000 terms and with 10 you can find about nearly 45,000 keywords are there with less than keyword difficulty less than 10. So that means the first validation there are enough terms or enough keywords with lower difficult with less difficulty or uh, less competition. Okay, So that is the first validation which is true this is what we look for and the second one is search volume for the same set of keywords that we filtered just now uh, using the low keyword difficulty we also can verify if there is enough volume enough search volume for those keywords how do we do that is there is another label you can see something called volume here volume stands for uh, number of times th the specific keyword has been searched online organically uh, so if you see about uh, most of the um, uh, keywords here bathroom sink drain about nearly 7.9 k times so normally what i normally check is uh, for entire the first pane or first screen of the results if if those are if the volumes are more than 1000 or near 2000 i consider it as a strong volume now if you see here the last item has about 3.5 k of search volumes per month that means this is looking very strong actually so the, the second validation is also true you we have enough search volumes for the the key uh, keywords we filtered using the lower keyword difficulty so two validations are true third one is scope for content so again this is the practical difficulty most of the people face um, they get tempted by looking at the uh, looking at few keywords when uh, with lower difficulty good volumes and get started but then halfway through they will get stuck because they couldn't find they won't be able to find enough topics that's the another criteria we need to see so what we normally uh, do is once we already applied a filter of difficulty less than 20 let's apply a volume filter of about maybe 300 or so let's apply monthly volume of 300 searches and see 
how many keywords will appear for this combination you can see about nearly 1300 plus keywords are there so what it means is there are more than 1300 keywords are there associated with these two terms that is faucet and sink with difficulty less than 10 and minimum search volume monthly search volume of 300 so if you take out this 300 i think this will run into multi th multiple thousands so it will be much more if you in the beginning so this this these filters we apply to get that kind of a confidence that there are enough uh, keywords with good um, search volume and low difficulty but when you actually get started uh, it may be a good practice to look for even low volumes also if the computation is very low so but applying these two filters itself you can see there are about 1300 plus keywords here there that is a very strong signal so that means the third validation scope for content is also pretty good that means if you start a niche site for this particular micro niche you will be able to easily write uh, more than 100 200 300 articles if you see here uh, even if you take out maybe let's say about 50 percent of these keywords redundant or not uh, qualified to write the article still there are easily about a 500 plus uh, topics are there to write and then we are talking about um, um, expanding possibility to expand this into multiple segments like commercial or home or whatever it is um, so considering all those things this is looking very good you will have a huge opportunity to write lot many uh, articles if you kick start with this particular micro niche so the top three first three fact, uh, factors we just validated all looking very positive now the the most critical one do we have any reference site with uh, relatively low uh, relatively low domain rating or domain authority but still performing well so after the research i discovered one site uh, this is the site sinkengineering.com so let's get into the detail let's take this site and look into the data points how the site is looking like or how are the the numbers associated with this particular site are so let me key in and then just wait for the results so you can see here site looks very simple but if you see there the the articles you can find mix and match lot of how to articles are there and uh, some of the the commercial articles also top 10 and top best and all those so here are the details so the one parameter i normally look whenever i analyze the uh, site is dr dr stands for domain rating lower means it is relatively high or unestablished basically if you start the site your dr will be zero so here dr is 13 so that means it is not very uh, very low that means uh, not zeros or ones but still 13 is not very high for example if you look for um, facebook or amazon and all that you will find dr about uh, above 90s so 13 is still reasonably fresh and another thing that i observed with this site is when i went and looked into the history just about 18 months old it's not too old it's it, 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 you can see here it started in the early 2020 so within 18 months this site started performing so well and you can see here it's all about only sinks and faucets and the other terms i normally verify is how many keywords are ranking for this particular site so you can see here about a 23.8 can nearly 24k keywords uh, organic keywords is nothing but for how many different terms this particular site is appearing in the search engines organically and then monthly how much of traffic this particular site is attracting about 15.6k so considering these two numbers these are also looking very positive so relatively low dr and very high number of organic keywords and decent search volume or i would say good search volume monthly search volume uh, or search traffic for this particular site so considering all these things i would say the fourth validation is also true we did find a reference site built exclusively on this particular micro niche and doing exceptionally well last one is last factor is earning potential at the end of day we want to create these sites to make some money so just we want to ensure that this has enough potential so best way of looking validating that point is looking at how much is the traffic value of this particular site so typically from my experience 
uh, making about a 10% of whatever traffic value has been shown here is very much possible if you can publish a decent number of articles uh, with a good quality. So now if you look at the traffic value of this particular site is 23.4k per month and if you take it 10% of it even 10% of it it is 2300 more than 2300 US dollars per month. 2300 US dollars per month is just about 10% of this traffic value. It is very much possible because I have seen, seen uh, multiple examples and I have shown you some examples with real um, numbers also. So considering that monthly to nearly 2.3k US dollars for a site uh, that is exclusively focusing on one or two kind of uh, either um, utilities or uh, appliances whatever you want to call it as is, is very attractive Th that's what made me to uh, create a video about this particular micro niche so all five validations are looking very positive all through so this looks to be one of the perfect micro niche if you want to get into home or kitchen segment and if you uh, can pick a domain name that is broader enough in future after you write enough content on this basically sink and faucet related uh, topics you can expand to other areas within kitchen or home as well so you can limit to residential or you can also go into the commercial areas as well depending on your interest but even considering only these two uh, specific terms or specific uh, areas also still all the parameters looking very positive looks to be looking like a very strong micro niche if somebody wants to get into uh, to start their micro niche blogging journey okay so these are the details just wanted to share with all of you if you have any questions please do ask in the comment section thanks for your time bye